Hello, today I'm going to be going over a very old and also very classic backrooms level. Level number 200, aka home. This is a very, very highly rated level, and I personally love it. It has been out for so long, and I'm not sure how I haven't gone over it yet, to be honest. That's my bad. But leave a like for my goldfish brain, and uh, let's get into the explanation of this very classic backrooms level. Let's go. So this level is cataloged in sort of a narrative format, with a few paragraphs that describe it and its layout and all of its effects. So I'll be reading those paragraphs right now, and then later on after that, getting into the usual description and the yapping I do about the levels. You can use the timestamps below if you want to skip from part to part, or you can listen to both. It really doesn't matter to me, but I hope you listen to both, please. Okay, let's see what this level has to say. Level 200 is home. It was discovered on... Eh, there's no point in doing this here. It's always been around, even if you just arrived. Sit down, there's a lot to talk about. Description. Level 200 is the nicest little town you've ever come across. It's not too big, and it definitely does not stand out. There's people here. People just like you and me. About 4,000. You'll know them all eventually every single one of them. They're nice enough to overlook that smell of burning rust in your ears, or the faint sound of breaking of skin coming from the sky. You've been traveling, haven't you? We can tell. You look exhausted. Clothes torn, barely fed, skin still on. It's not easy exploring these parts, isn't it? Let's take a walk. Bases, outposts, and communities. Friends and family. There's old Joe V, still running that breakfast place, serving the same people day in and day out. Been doing it for 60 years. Remember going there before school, on those days, with the bleak blue sky and cold air that chapped your lips? You remember, right? The man poured his heart and soul into the food. It's his legacy, his flesh, his blood. He's been holding that soup bowl for 30 days. It's starting to fall apart. There's the school, with enough time, it could be your school, just the way you remembered it. Remember that year you went to space camp in the science lab and you met Sarah Palmer? Remember how she dared you to go into the basement alone and you did it because you were 10 and stupid and she was the first girl you ever noticed? Remember how dark and cold it was down there? Below, below, below. You remember. You were so happy to leave, to see home again. If you didn't know any better, you might have believed you were falling apart down there. I wonder what Sarah Palmer is doing with herself now. You can find out if you want. All you have to do is remember. Bring her with you. There's rot here. Ignore it. It only grows when you notice it. One more stop to make. It's a house. You can tell it used to be beautiful and untouched. Now the paint chips and its walls have grown too thin. It's not a place that's taken shape yet. You can make it better. Please remember how it used to look. How your mother would take you on walks around the neighborhood on summer afternoons. The pure and genuine joy that came with your birthday. How it felt to not think about living and dying or breaking into a million pieces. You remember. There was a time when all of this was true. And you can help us bring it back. We're here for you. The rot only grows when you're not around. It grows in our homes, our businesses, our bodies. We're getting old. This town needs new blood. We're getting so old, it's getting hard to keep ourselves in one piece. Don't look too hard at Miss Garcia, or she'll fall in two. She'll bisect down the middle. Start building, molding. We're adaptable. We can be whatever you want. And we knew what you wanted from the second you set foot here. Keep that rot at bay. Just how you remember. Whatever you want all the time, you are in control here. All we need is for you to remember. Stay with us. Stay. Look behind you. Everyone's here. Entrances and exits. Why would you care about that? All right, well, that was the level as itself is described on the wiki. And to say the least, that was very interesting. Now I want to diagram it, kind of go over it, jump full MatPat mode into examining what all that stuff means, and without any more blabbering, let's do it. Let's start with the very beginning of the description. So the level takes place at some sort of town, a very small town that looks like any other one you might have seen. Allegedly around 4,000 people 
quote unquote, live in this town. And I say people like that because I doubt they're real individuals. Your mind might be conjuring them up or they could be entities. And as a matter of fact, the town itself might not even be real. It might be just your mind playing tricks on you, but who knows? If the town is real, then there is an old breakfast store in that town, as well as other places, like the school and houses and other restaurants and that sort of thing. None of that really stands out. It just seems to be a town that has weird people or entities that live there. What does stand out, though, are the weird and strange sentences between all that normal stuff. Like this one. There's people here. People like you and me. About 4,000. You'll know them all eventually, every single one of them. They're nice enough to overlook that smell of burning rust in your ears or the faint sound of skin breaking coming from the sky. Like, what does that even mean? Well, uh, <laughs> that is horrific to listen to. Imagine the sky just sounds like skin ripping and tearing and somehow there's rust and rot in your ears. Again, it's unknown if this is real rust, real rot, or if it's just you decaying and being stuck in this town forever. There is an old school in this town, and there's a house, like I said, and this whole level is kind of stuck in a picture as a as a still frame you could say it seems fake it seems uncanny and rot seems to be consuming all of it the fake image of it is corroding away as you speak what we do know about this level is that getting trapped inside of it no matter if it's in your brain or if it's actually real will be your final destination and the level will individually consume every part of you whether it's you fading away you rotting away you literally being eaten that's just what's gonna happen you can't leave there are no entrances or exits listed on this page either, so we don't really know how to avoid the level or even how to survive it if you do find yourself stuck there. I can't tell you how to escape it because I don't know. Sorry. But all the information that I've read today and talked about and theorized is all we have. There's nothing else that we can guess on or deduce on. I think it speaks for itself, if I'm being honest, especially that last paragraph, which I'll read again. Start building, molding. We're adaptable. We can be whatever you want and we knew what you wanted from the second you set foot here. Keep that rot at bay. Just remember, whatever you want all the time, you're in control here. All we need for you to do is remember. So stay with us, stay. Look behind you, everyone's here. Nice. So yeah, that was the home level of the backrooms. A very, very classic level, very, very psychological thrilling level. Uh, it's been around for a long time. It's level 200, it's very famous. I don't remember or think I've ever gone over it. Like, I don't think I've dedicated an entire video to it. So that's what this one was. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And even though I couldn't tell you how to avoid the level or how to survive it, I kind of could describe it that way. If you get sent, you'll know you're there just because you watched the video. With all that said, though, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to check out the description for all the links that are there, like my Twitter, my Instagram, and my third channel, Spookly, where I upload videos weekly as well, if you want more of my content, as well as my podcast, the NBR podcast. It's always in the description as well, if you want more of me there, too. The summer is about to be awesome. Brugly Summer Spectacular is right around the corner, so make sure you're getting ready for that. I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to continue the series of going over levels in order. So we're going to go over from level 78 to like 90 in this summer, which we're getting close to the first 100 fully, which I'm really hyped about. Hopefully you are too. Thanks so much for everything. With all that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.